Hello and welcome back to um, Pokemon Red. You read the title. We're on part five now, which is. I'm honestly surprised I haven't forgotten about it. We're gonna just continue. Now, off screen, I went to this kind fellow here to change Tinnitus' name to Dincy. Because. Uh, Dincy, Dincy's a better name than Tinnitus. Tinnitus was a little bit too far, but. um. Last episode, we caught a Cubone. We, you know, we gave it a home after its mother died last episode. And, uh, last episode I read a bunch of creepypastas, then tackled the Pokemon Tower. I didn't realise to laugh at the fact that I read all the creepy stories before we even got to the creepy bit. Either way, though, uh, no, hang on, hang on, let's get my bike ready. Which, didn't realise I was listening to the recording of this, uh, of the last episode, but, uh, it is a creepy song, isn't it? But... Not scary anymore. Woo! Anyway. Let's go down here. There's a rod I'd like to get. There's another presser oak aid up here, I believe, right? No? Just a girl? What do you have for me? Oh no. That's so sad. For generation 1 was dark, man. Swift. It's not a bad move, is it? I guess Abra can have it. <laughs> oh, lovely. What about this one? Oh, the girl in front of the speech. Sound. Anywho. Now, we got a bunch of Fisher trainers up here, so I guess Maple would be the optimal choice. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, boom. Let's do it! I haven't played Pokemon in a while. That's a lie, I literally played it last night when I recorded last episode. Ah, uh, look, look, it's standing up, it's weird. Anyway, we should learn a uh, razor leaf pretty soon, I think. I'm surprised I haven't learned it now. Again, why Vine Whip is again like moves like Vine Whip and Razor Leaf are like the only uh, good moves what aren't like five or ten PP only. But Vine Whip's only ten PP anyway. I don't get why the limited grass moves so much in this game. Holy, we got Poliwag at least. I love Poliwag. Uh, for those who don't know, that swirly pattern is meant to be his intestines. It's not actually his intestines, but um, it's based on a real life tadpole, what um, essentially has see through skin. So it, you, you can see its intestines, what look like a swirly pattern. So that's what influenced the uh, polywag design, which is uh, it's cute. It's cute. Maple, come on, man. Um, sleep is really worse in this game because um, in any other Pokemon game after Generation One, when you wake up from being asleep, that's your turn. Your turn is just you waking up. However, afterwards, if you did an attacking turn and you woke up, well, you'll be able to do that attack. But as you just saw. I didn't do uh, Vine Whip because, well, my turn was waking up, so that sucks. Oh no. Good, good. Gosh. Another Goldeen, let's go. But let this battle alone. And I'm already going to be like half of, half of my Vine Whips. It's not fun. Okay, I got lucky at least. But yeah, so what's on the agenda this episode? Um, honestly, I'm just kind of going. I'm just kind of going with it because Pokemon, after the third gym, really, after you've beaten Rock Tunnel and, and you've done the Lavender Town, 
The game pretty much just kind of opens up, right? You're kind of free to do whatever you want at that point. It's a bit of a free roam. I'll fight this guy. I'll, I'll give him the time of day. Oh, well, he do Do you want to fight me, buddy, or not? You got your back turned to me. Anyway. Oh, come on! Fuming. Oh, excuse me. Oh, gosh. Maple! Oh, hang on. I've got... The Pokey Flute. Ha 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 ha! Oh, come on! I wonder if they did that on purpose. Um, gave you the Pokey Fleet right above a bunch of Poliwags. Probably not. Because, well... Again, I chose to come here after the Pokemon Tower, but you didn't have to. A lot of Generation 1 is uh, free roam. Why aren't I using the Pokey Flute? Get himself angry. Angry! Anyway. Oh, man. I can do this forever, Poliwag. Sadly. Wow. Unfortunately, in Generation 1, this could literally go on forever. Uh, for those who don't know, I have PP, right? The little number above my moves. That means how many times I can use that move. Oh my god, Poliwag! Are your eyes open or closed? The sprite, you can't tell! It looks weird! You look weird, Poliwag! I love you, but you look weird. Oh my god, Poliwag! As I was saying, though, so I've got limited. M oh my god, Poliwag, please. Poliwag! What are the odds of this? What are the odds of this? I thought hypnosis had like slow percentage of working. Okay. Holy wag! What's going on? Okay, I woke up first time at least. That's good. Okay, okay. Oh my god. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Oh my god, I, I was stuck on a polywag of all things. My ivy soul couldn't be a polywag. Wow. As I was saying though, PP here. Uh, the opponent's Pokemon doesn't have that coded in, so they don't run out of moves. So that Poliwag could have literally used Hypnosis forever. <laughs> and <laughs> it felt like it did. I know it did. Trust me. Cripes. Oh god, what a what an eventful start to the episode. Fucking Ooh, bloody. It's weird because I mentioned this to a friend the other day and they, they were saying there's no point not swearing. You're like, if you want to swear, just swear, but it's like... I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot that was fake screen generation 1. I swear occasionally, but... It's weird, right? Because I got another video on this channel uh, where I played Don't Starve with a friend. We effing Jeff like there's no tomorrow. But while playing Pokemon, I'm like... No, we don't want to swear. Feel bad for it. I don't know. It's weird. Because I'm not a family friendly kind of guy. Have you seen my other videos? Have you not? Oh, never mind. Anyway. What a beautiful boy.
Now this is Snorlax, and since he's asleep, we need to wake him up with uh, the Punky Flute. I'm gonna change into Yokel for this. Here we go. What a beautiful tune. He woke up and attacked us. How 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 rude. Anyway, this is Snorlax. Uh many's favourite Generation 1 Pokemon and one of the strongest Generation 1 Pokemon. Now, I had a friend who said, if I kill the Snorlax, he will unsubscribe. So I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> Look. I like Snorlax a lot. I, I, I like his design. I like the concept of, um... The, the idea that it, it's a roadblock, right? It's a very Pokemon idea, right, where... They've taken a, a regular RPG trope, but Pokemonized it, made it a Pokemon. Voltorb's a great example of that as well. In most RPGs, there's a mimic enemy, right? Well, Voltorb is that mimic enemy. You think it's a Pokeball, well, it's a Voltorb. I think that's very clever and, you know, unique. Snorlax is exactly that. It's a... It's a roadblock, what you... have to wake up, but when you... It, you don't just remove it, it's a Pokemon. You can actually catch it, you can use it. That's one of the great reasons about Pokemon to me, right? I, I love how they replicate that in the later generations with Sudo Wudo and uh, Kecleon. However... And you know what, I'll, I'll even... You know, Snorlax is one of the most powerful Pokemon... I don't even know ever, but definitely in Generation 1, and it is the best Pokemon in Generation 2, hands down, competitively speaking at least. However... I've already got a normal type. I've already got turns, and I don't. I feel like it wouldn't be right for me to have. If I had a Snorlax, what's the point of me having turns? And I don't want to just not use turns like that. Turns is my friend. So, for now, I'm going to skip on the Snorlax. However, I've got like. We're going to see Kanto like 20 more times, there's plenty more chances for me to catch a Snorlax, and I'm going to catch... I got a couple to catch, because um, I was thinking about this earlier. Um, we're back in... Uh, I always forget... Oh, no I don't. Where the hell am I? I forgot what... Oh, I made myself a fool. I forgot what town it's called. Cripes. Anyway. But, uh, I'm gonna be completing... That's weird how it rocks back and forth, the sprite. That's like an old Flash game or something. Anyway. Like, I'm definitely gonna be doing a few Catch Them All runs where I go around catching every single Pokemon of the deck, so... I will catch a Snorlax eventually. I'm sure I'll use one eventually. If I'm doing a Nuzlocke, I can get a Snorlax. Darn right I'm going to catch a Snorlax. Snorlax is a great. This run, however, I just don't feel like I need one because I've only got a full team and I I'm set on turns. Turns has proved more than useful to me. I'm not going to say I don't want two normal types on my team because I might end up catching another normal type. Who knows? But... I just don't see how Snorlax can fit. I don't know if you can tell by looking at the team, but I'm not... I'm not trying to go traditional with this Let's Play. I'm not... I'm, I'm quirky. I'm not like other Pokemon tubers. I I have a Raticate on my team, not Snorlax. Mm. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know. I like Snorlax. It's not using it this playthrough. Done. At least I didn't knock it out. We'll use Dinsey. I will never get used to Generation 1's Screech. Sonic Boom's fun. It's a set 20 damage no matter what, so... Time is limited. Light Screen's not 
usefully, because it defends himself from special attacks, but... Well, Dinty is a, uses physical attacks. This might self-destruct. Okay, never mind, I just use light screen. I'll quickly explain, um... Before Generation 4, all Pokemon types... All Pokemon moves weren't just Al. They weren't just special or physical. What made a Pokemon special or physical depended on the type. So, if it was a water move, even if it was something like... Well, let, let me use a better example. Um, let's say an ice move. Even if it, the move was ice punch, a physical attack, since it's an ice type, it will do special damage. So... Take that for what it's worth. We got a super rod now. We can get a water type. I'm sure we will. So... Pokemon like um, Gyarados are kind of screwed by this because they have really high physical attack, but since they're water type and all water type moves are special, Gyarados can't use its high physical attack if it wants to do water damage, you know? Like Bite, that's a dark type move, which, well in this generation it's normal so it's physical, but in the next generation it's special because it's a dark type move. So. It's weird why they did that though, because in Generation 3, there is a system what realises if it's a physical or special type move, I think. Like in some Pokemon abilities, like Rough Skin, if it's a physical attacking damage, then its Rough Skin will do damage to the other Pokemon. So if you use the physical attack on a Rough Skin Pokemon, you'll take damage as well. So, of course I'm poisoned, why won't I be? But, um. So I'm pretty sure there's a system in place to see, even if it is a grass type attack, what is always going to be special. Vine Whip, it'll, it'll recognise that it's physical, I think. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's weird. It's weird. Excuse me. Well done, Simon. I don't think I've got an antidote, do I? Well... Simon... AWAY! That's why I went here, because I don't need to teleport to... That in the town. <laughs> We're done with that. For now. We've still got a lot of visits to it, but for now. You can't set I items in this game, so you can't just press some um, thing to select. And be able to use the bike. Nope, you need to pick it up. Ugh. Of course. Right, snake, snake friend. Oh man. It's funny because it. I'm kind of scared of every encounter now because, like I mentioned last episode, I don't know if that Ekans is shiny or not. It could very well be, and I just ran away from it. You'd never know. Uh, now, as a joke, I said any of my Pokémon could be shiny, we'll never know. That's not entirely true. When you, you can see Gravelous stats, right? I believe the way... Because genera Generation 1 and 2 work very differently to every other generation. And from what I remember, um, the way Pokémon determines a shiny... Because I don't think... I mentioned how it's like a 1 in 18,000 chance or whatever. In every other Pokemon game after Generation 2, it's literally just a box, right? Whether it'll be ticked or not. As in, when you find a Pokemon, well, 
when you encounter a Pokemon, before you even see it, the game will calculate all its stats, genders, natures, and everything. And it will also calculate if it's shiny or not by ticking a box. It's just very unlikely that it will check that box, right? Now, in Generation 2, and by extension 1, I'm pretty sure the way it works is your stats. Your stats will determine whether your Pokemon is a shiny or not. So, in Generation 1, you could tell if your Pokemon is shiny because if it's the... Like, there's a, there's a, cal there's a bunch of calculating sites that do it for you. I don't know how it works personally, but um, if you need to find out... If you check Yokel stats, I think you could probably determine whether or not it'd be shiny or not. Which again, which is why it's incredibly rare for it to be shiny, because you need the exact right uh, stats in every single category, I think, anyway. So, that's why shiny Pokemon are so rare. At the same time, however, that means you can uh, breed shinies, because, well, in Generation 2 you can breed, and since breeding passes on uh, traits from the both parents, if you have a shiny parent, it's a lot easier to breed a shiny, I believe. I think I think it works if it's a mother, if the mother's shiny or not. I think I could be wrong, but uh, I'm I'm pretty sure if you're doing it right, because it gets a bit weird sometimes. But if you're doing it right, it you can breed a one in thirty-two shiny, which is those odds are mental. People will go mad for that. Look at me, Elf. Be Elf. That's right. I've not seen the Pokemon anime in ages. It's a. Uh, it's like. I believe they've changed it now because every other anime, I believe, was Ash going through the respective region. But nowadays he's just exploring the whole world, which is it's fun. I hope they bring back a lot of old Pokemon from Ash's past because I I love that idea. Um. I love referencing, like, Ash's old Pokemon, which... You know, if he's going back to Kanto, you know, he better go back and at least see his Pidgeot, or come back and find his Butterfree, you know? Go back to all his released Pokemon and just find them again, you know? Even if, even if it's for an episode or two, the fact that they acknowledge is, you know, enough for me. But, um... It, it's, it's a little bit funny how... The same anime what's about exploring the whole Pokemon world is tied to the same game what essentially deleted the rest of the Pokemon world. Because Sword and Shield removed every Pokemon what isn't in the Galari Index. You can't... You literally cannot transfer any other Pokemon into Sword and Shield unless it's in the Galari Index. So, the same game what deleted every other Pokemon is tied to the anime what includes every single Pokemon. It's, it, it's kind of funny. I'm not... No hate to Sword and Shield. Obviously, that's a that's for another episode, but uh, I, I just think it's kind of funny, and I wonder I wonder if anyone noticed that at the team, but was too scared to say anything. You did lose, correct. Anyway, this maze always confused me. Like, what? I always forget the right way, but at the same time, it feels a little oddly placed. I think this is a dead end, isn't it? I think it is. Ha ha! Hang on, was that? I think that's a loading zone. Look, I, I pause slightly. That's a fun fact. I think when I cross this tile, where I pause slightly, that's the game loading in the new uh, tiles, the new map. That's fun. I never noticed that before. Huh. The more you know. Anyway. I should probably equip my bike, shouldn't I? This is taking way too long. Let's pull out the bike out of my pocket. This is why I don't use the bike. <laughs> Drinking a lot again. 
I'm sorry if you hear it and you think it sounds disgusting. I do apologise. I wonder if this coughing will self-destruct. Okay. Slightly scared to swap in. Oh. Of course it would. Well, I'm, I'm too far down to teleport now anyway, so... Probably buy some more potions. Potions. Awesome. Awesome. Well, smog does very little damage, but has a high chance to poison. So at least once you're poisoned, smog is meaningless. Come on, yokel! You let me down here, buddy. Oh, you, you've let a coffin take you down to yellow, pal. C come on, you uncle. We are under level, to be fair, though. Muck. Use ass. No. Um. I'll use turns. Look at him. I really like the effect they did on looking Grimer Howl. They tried to. Like. I say they tried to. They did a pretty good job at doing it. They made it look. They tried to emulate movement. Which is the 2D unmoving sprite. Because remember, on the original Game Boy, this had no colour. So they used the lines to simulate movement because it's a sludge. It's kind of fun. Great job, Turns. And Yokel. Right, we're in a rush now, we need to get Yoko to the hospital. <laughs> Let's get him home! <laughs> Alright, bitch. Wow! Come on, Yoko. Let's get you home. Oh, why did I do that? I thought the town was right there. Oh, no, bro. It's a dodrio. Or a dodrio. I think, I, think that's how, I think that's what I used to call it, a dodrio. Uh, dodrio, dodrio, didrio. A didgeridoo. No. I guess it's turns. I do need to buy some healing items, you're right. You're right, I'm assuming you're- I'm assuming that's what you said, if not. If you thought it, you weren't wrong. Did he start with his strongest Pokemon? I think he did. He doesn't understand why trainers don't start with their strongest move. <laughs> That's a very obscure reference. I don't even know how many people are going to get that. Out of like the five people who watch this, I don't even know how many will know that. If they do, I, I salute you. If don't, if you don't, well, I don't blame you. Cheers, bird keep. Just as I thought. What, you'd lose? A bit of a weird thing, man. You need to hold yourself a little higher standard, yeah? Right. It's weird why they take you off the bike when that happens. Take it to the hospital quick! Ooh! Fuchsia City, I believe this is. I'm surprised Yoko survived this far. Oh my god. Yeah, of course he dies when you're right near the center pokes. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Does this town even have a mart? I'm sure it does. 
I need to sell some items. This is the future city. It's got a weird little Pokemon Zoo. That's a Slowpoke. It's weird why... What's this one? Chansey. That's a Chansey. It's weird why the, it doesn't say anything. I thought it'd be cool if it did tell you about it. Because in the in the enemy, wh whenever Ash found an actual Pokemon, the Pokédex would record all of its data automatically. You didn't need to catch them. And yeah, y you'd think, well, you wouldn't need to catch the Voltorb then, so what's the point? But it'd be like, well, no, it's still like you'd still need to catch the Electrode, so it'd just tell you more about it, you know? Like, I don't know. Just, I'm just thinking out loud, I don't know. Here's the mark. Right, let's sell some items, shopkeep. I need to look through all these TMs first. Hang on. Uh, TM12, water gun. I might need that. Whirlwind, do not need that. 11, bubble beam. I will need that. Can't do HMs. Thunderbolt! Might need that. That's useful. So just one, really. Just a four, right? Yeah. Might not even need Water Gun if I'm teaching... If I'm gonna use Bubble Beam, so... Just first two, I guess. No, not buying yet. And my two Pokeballs. And my Nuggets, obviously. Okay. Ultra Balls. Oh yeah, it doesn't tell you how much you can buy. It scales up to 999. We'll buy 10. I don't know how many... What my Pokemon will catch, but... Right, some Super Potions. Buy 20. Keep us up. Some revives, maybe. And some full heals. Boom, boom. Sorted. Okay. Right, so this is the safari area. I love the safari area, because it's got a lot of cool Pokemon. The gimmick is, however, well, it's a safari zone, so... Well, you have a limited time in there, and you've only got 30 Pokeballs, and you can't fight the Pokemon. So, you can get a lot of good Pokemon here, but they're all semi-rare. And for some reason, it's the evolution theme or plays. Anyway, there's two items we need to get in here. We might do some Pokemon catching spree. Probably will. Like I said, there's a there's a there's a few good po um, Pokemon you can get here. What I might decide to catch. Oh wow, no no room. Uh, HP up increases HP. So uh, Maple, you got more HP. Restore, that's useful. That heals all your health and removes any statuses. Finally, we got an Gower. I was kind of waiting for one. Oh, and it's just a Paris. I love you, Paris, but. Not today. Paris, please. We've said no. Why is the back egg so huge? I love eggs are cute. That's eggs cute, by the way. Oh, I always get... 
I think this is the right path. I always get confused. Now, th despite the name being Eggs Egg Cute, it's... it keeps... The Pokedex refers to it as seeds, so... I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess we don't need an awakening if we've got a Poke for you, so... What's TMO 40? I still hate how... I don't know when they stopped doing it, but they don't tell you what the TM is. We're not teaching a Pokemon Skull Bash. Protein! Shout out to my main boy. He'll know, he'll, he'll know who he is. For protein. Nidoran. Nidorino, sorry. Ah. No! I didn't mean to click Okay. 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 Oh boy. Anyway, that's us done for four encounters. Yep. So we... Oh gosh darn it, we need... Right, protein. Turns, you got protein. Attack, okay, that's alright then. And I need to throw away another item. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to have to make two trips, aren't I? Whatever. I'm fine with that. We can catch some more Pokemon at least. We can have a look for something actually decent. That's actually scary! Oh my gosh! Toodaloo, friend. There is a certain Pokemon I do want to get, and it requires me uh, fishing. What? Ha ha! There he is. Ah, oh, come to Papa. Uh, I mentioned it a few times before, but oh dear. Psyduck is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So, for the. Th I had to get one sh on my journey, surely, right? It wouldn't be right to. It wouldn't be right not to, even. There we go. I love him. While lulling its enemies with its vacant look, this wily Pokemon will use Psychonic. Psy. Oh my god, that's a long word. Psy. Psycho. Kinetic. Psychokinetic powers. I usually name it something like Ducky. But, uh. Oh, I know! Uh. I got a perfect name for this one. Sima. Oh, right. Uh. How about. Hmm. Oh. Cider. That's a funny little name for him. He's transferred to the PC, because we don't have enough room in our party. But, uh, I love Psyduck. I have no shame in that. He's just an adorable little duck, isn't he? Plus, the anime, he was kind of amazing, wasn't he? Let's be honest. Wow! I thought this was meant to be some. Oh, wow. Paras, no.
Man, these are all kind of basic Pokemon. Was I expecting a little more? Kinda. You're right, Paris. Since I don't have enough room in my um, inventory, I can't exactly get the other item what I need, which was um, Surf. So I'm just gonna wait for the time to run out and hopefully maybe find a good Pokemon or something, I don't know. I think you can get a Chansey in this area, I could be wrong. I'm not exact, I'm not 100% sure, but I know the rare Pokemon is what you can get here, as in the Safari Zone in general. Are, uh, I believe, like Kangaskhan, Chansey, Scyther, I think Pinsir, uh, Tauros, and uh, Jatini. All the game will spit out at me, though, is Paris. And, uh, behemoths. <laughs> but, um... I mean, I mentioned uh, previously... There we go. I mentioned how Chansey is incredibly rare anyway. Nah. I mean, yeah, I got a Psyduck. I got... I got er everything I needed. Now, let's deposit some, uh... Things. Some things. Fuck it, bicycle. I'm thinking now about naming my Psyduck Cider. Should I have spelled it like Cider? Like C I D E R? Or should I spell it S P S Y D U R? Like Cider? I don't know. It's at least it's a nickname, I guess. Oh, ah, oh, I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, balls. Speed up time. Deposit both my moonstone. Cut. Uh, cut. Fly. And. Silver scope. Don't need that anymore. I'm gonna keep everything else for now. What I might. I'm thinking of what I wanna do now. Because the, the rest of the Pokemon playthrough is kind of open world now, so it is kind of just what I'll do. First of all, we picked up some gold teeth in the Safari Zone, so we'll give that to him. And uh, I believe he gives us strength, which is useful. But, um, I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking of doing, we've got a lot of different side quests to do. What I'm thinking of doing is... I might just do every single side quest, and then in one episode, I'll just knock out all the remaining gym leaders. All in one episode, bish bash bosh. Uh, do the last one, and then uh, beat the game, I guess. Right. Now let's get Surf. Hello. Mm -hmm. Darn tootin'. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Just trying to get an encounter, can't you tell? I love the Safari Zone. I love the idea of finding some rare good Pokemon. I'd love to get like a Chansey. Or a Scyther. I think Pinsir's version exclusive, so I don't think I'll find one here. I mean, you can get a Kangaskhan here. It would have been great if that was um, the time off to encounter Kangaskhan. That would have been perfect. But alas. Doduo. I love Doduo. <laughs> nope. This Paris. It's just, there's just like 50 different Paris who just like to join people's teams. I really like Paris, personally. I, 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 I enjoy using Parasect on some playthroughs, but not on this one. Maybe another one. I, don't, I forgot if I mentioned this or not, or if I only half mentioned it, but Execute. Despite being Execute, the game can't decide whether it's seeds or eggs. Because in one game, it'll say they're eggs, but in the next, it'll say they're seeds, and then it'll go back and forth, back and forth. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I think I did mention it, so, uh... Great. Dirt. Oh, Rhyhorn! I like Rhyhorn. I've kind... Oh, did not mean to throw another rock at it. Oh dear. He's angry. Run. We annoyed him. Run. Man, Need Arena also looks a bit weird. <laughs> but, uh... It's weird, right? Because... I love Rhyhorn. When I was little, my three favourite Pokemon that I'd always like draw were Psyduck, Rhyhorn, and Peachy. But my reason for not getting him normally it would be well because I've got a, a Graveler now. But I'm sure that's not going to be an issue as I will 100% have several Pokemon of the same type on my team. I literally do right now, <laughs> so I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I have no excuse for my sins. Can I bike? Can one bike? I can. What's that? Double team? <gasps> That's useless! Nah, it actually is kind of useful in um, Gen 1. Well, in any gen, because you can... Just spam it, but... Right, I've got Surf now. Surfing I wonder if anyone is even going to get that song. I hope they do, but if not, I'm going to sound incredibly weird. More so than I normally do. Anyway, though. I guess just... Let's just zip around here again. I kind of want a Tauros, though, if I'm honest. Oh, I was, I was going to scream if one spawned. I'm actually kind of curious where they appear. Hang on. In the area I'm in, it's a 1% encounter chance. In Pokemon Yellow, they're a lot more common because... <laughs> they're common. Uh, I suppose that's because... Um... Pokemon Yellow is based on the anime, and Ash caught 30 of them, so. Uh, I believe there's a slightly higher chance in area... Yeah, they, they are. They're th they're a three, they're a 4% chance in Area 3. What's Area 3, though? Ah. I see. You need Surf to get there, and... I don't have the badge. I might end up going back there. 
if I can't find one here. I might, I might, might, might give it a go. Not only do I really like Tauros, I also, I, I, I do genuinely just really like Tauros. He is also incredibly good in this game. Um, I say at least competitive in the competitive sense because Pokemon's very. Com Pokemon's also got an incredible competitive scene, and Tauros is kind of the king of Generation One competitive because well, several things. Um, in Generation One, being a normal type is pretty good competitive-wise because the only weakness is fighting type, and the only main fighting type threat what you'll see in compet would be Machamp, which Machamp had a lot of. Let me let me try and explain. The way competitive Pokemon Generation One works, I believe it's free on free, and uh, if they had a Machamp, there's a very high chance that ooh you would have a, a Psychic type like an Alakazam, which would be able to tear free Machamp. But uh, do I just? I'm just gonna f screw it. Let's just go for it. I missed it. How can you miss Chansey? She's huge. What the hell? Ugh. Oh well. But uh, I'm trying to think because there are other fighting types, but uh, I haven't read a lot into um general competitive in a while. But from what I can tell, there's only two tiers: OU and I think it's just UU, overused and underused. And, uh... So Tauros being normal type gives it stab, same type attack, same type attack bonus. Uh, on one of the best moves in the game, Hyper Beam. And in Generation 1, Hyper Beam's got some of a glitch where... If you knock out the Pokémon with Hyper Beam, you don't need to recharge next turn. Because that's how they uh, balanced uh, Hyper Beam, right? Where... Well, it's a real powerful move, but every time you use it, you got to charge it. Recharge next turn. Generation 1, it's unlikely you need to if you knock out. And uh, Rotorius is very respectable high attack and incredible speed. Because I haven't mentioned this before, but uh, in Generation 1, uh, critical hit chances are determined by your speed. And since Taurus has good speed, I believe it's like... I want to say 12 or 20. I'm pretty sure it's 20. Like a 21% chance of always getting a critical hit, which is mental. So, it would. Like, it's just incredibly good, alright? Um, if, if you're into competitive games and you want to know more about it, uh, there's a bunch of channels what, you know, do competitive scenes in Pokemon, and there's one channel what, um, do uh, pretty much every Pokemon competitive wise, I recommend. Give that a check out. I'm not going to say the name because do a bit of research yourself, maybe. But uh, they go into depth about it, and uh, Taurus is just amazing. Sadly, he's only really amazing Generation One, and every other game, it's a it's a slippery slope. But uh, either, regardless, regardless, he's good. Now we did the Safari Zone. We got all the items we needed. No Tauros, but I don't know if it's worth me getting one. I might get one. Um, I said I'm gonna do all the gyms on my episode, but I might do that gym next anyway, because I need uh, to use Surf. I need to beat this gym here, so uh, now we're encroaching on an hour now anyway. But I might, I might do the gym. We'll go a little over, and then I'll end the episode there. We're gonna be Turns and Simon are gonna be uh, very useful here. Grand types are also useful, but uh, if I'm honest, uh, Tintsy seems a little uh, st still upset from last episode. Obviously, we uh, essentially had to re-dead his own mom, so he's, he's still a little bit, he's struggling a little bit, bless him. But we're his friends, and we're there for him, and hopefully he'll he'll feel better in no time. Regardless, wow.
Oh wow, it's level 38 and turns to 29. Okay. Uh. Oh poop. Ugh. Can Yokel do anything? Probably should have self-destructed if I'm honest. Can survive a confusion, right? I guess. Wow. Okay. I guess. I guess not. Uh. I guess Simon. He doesn't have any of the moves. I could do any damage, but he resists psychic at least. I'm not going to use any of my revives because I don't think we're really down to take the stream on at all now. Wow. Holy moly. Uh, something tells me Mabel's not going to get far in this either. Uh, Mabel being four times weak to uh, confusion. And it being a critical hit. It's all down to Abra. <laughs> this is his first ever battle. Swift. Oh my god. Should use poison string. Ah, it would have been great if we managed to live, but no. And now we've got Dincy. Oh dear, it's all down for you, Dincy. No pressure if you lose, though, bud. But sorry, Dincy. Well, we got wiped. We're not going to beat this gym this episode. I'm going to stop here, and I guess I'll do some off-screen grinding, so you don't have to witness me just screwing around for an hour. Uh, I guess bef before we do that though, I, I, I guess I think I, I think me and Dinty need to uh, we, we need to go somewhere.